Weeds and non-wetting soils are fast becoming issues of the past for the Candeloro family at 2J in Western Australia, thanks to a fluke decision to try mouldboard ploughing five years ago. The family, made up of Joe and wife Maria and their three sons and partners, first tried the technique on their farm due to its low cost, yet the results have exceeded their expectations. We went straight into uh, mobile plan or worked out uh, that that would be probably the cheaper and, and, and we did fluke it. It, it is definitely uh, cheaper than claying and whatever me other methods there is. It's 100% effective uh, as well as being cheap. The cost of um, mobile ploughing are probably, I would say, 20%, maybe 30% 30, 30 of the cost of mobile ploughing, uh, the benefit of uh, almost total weed control for the first uh, maybe, I don't know, four or five years, uh, more than pay, it pays for the mobile plan. So it's, it's, it's an effective uh, method, very, very effective. Yes, it is. If you set the plough up right, it's the setting of the plough, it, it really does a good job. The Candeloros grow wheat, barley and canola on 12,000 hectares. Non-wetting soils first appeared as an issue on their farm about 15 years ago and gradually spread until about 20% of their lighter soils were affected. In recognition of the growing issue of non-wetting soils across WA, the Grains Research and Development Corporation has been supporting trials of a range of methods for dealing with the problem, including mouldboard ploughing, spading and claying. The mouldboard plough has uh, completely um, uh, turned that under all that uh, band, small band of non-wetting, which is about um, three or four inches from the top. That's all underneath now and uh, completely fixed. The Candeloros plough as deep as their machine will go, about 33 centimetres, and aim to bring up 20 to 30 per cent of the so-called coloured soil from below the sand. Occasionally there are patches of white with no coloured soil underneath and on those areas they use a spreader to incorporate clay into the soil. Younger son Jerome said crop yields had improved by one to two tonnes a hectare as a direct result of the mouldboard plough, with the benefits easily covering the cost. For us to, to plough a hectare of country, by the time you, you know, maintenance on your plough, the cost of the plough, the cost of fuel, it costs us around about $120 a hectare. I wouldn't, you wouldn't do it much cheaper than that. So I think, but the, just the weed control alone would nearly cover that, I think. So. Yes, yeah, it's a good option. Weeds had been a significant problem on the property, with the non-wetting soils creating several germinations whenever moisture finally made it into the soil. Because then the weeds took over, so they got use of all the fertilizer that was still there. The mobile ploughs just been able to get rid of those weeds on the top layer and bury them deep enough that they can't emerge later on. 